Hi everyone, I just wanted to uh, let you know that I've created a new add-on which is procedural UVs to real UVs. It is available for Blender 4.2 to 4.3. So what it does is that if you uh, model a lot of uh, environment like me, uh, you probably rely on uh, geometry nodes a lot and you probably create a lot of generators, different generators in order to model your scenes. And if so, you also probably just unwrap uh, everything in your scene procedurally inside geometry nodes. And as you know it, when you want to export your scene to a game engine, the procedurally generated UV won't cut it. The UV will be broken and you have to convert the attributes uh, into something the game engine can read. If you are doing all of this like me, you'll probably notice that uh, this can be pretty time consuming to be uh, converted converting a lot of uh, UVs, especially if you have different generators and uh, especially even more if you have different generators in your scene which have different attributes into which they store the UVs. So what you probably know already is that if you're doing environment at least, there's no big deal to just regroup all of your UVs into one single attribute. But even in that case, when you export everything, you would have to turn your uh, geometry into uh, visual geometry to mesh. You would end up with a lot of objects in your scene eventually and you would have to manually convert the attribute for each of these objects it involves uh, one two three four five five clicks probably something like this just for one object and then you have to go into your shading node and then you have to connect the uv to the texture coordinate to the mapping instead of the attribute node so that can be pretty painful if you have a large scene so this is why i created this add-on in order to make things very quick and not painful at all so i'm going to show you a use case really quickly here in this scene this is a scene i have generated with another add-on that i have which is roadscape and so everything in this scene is procedurally generated guardrails modified the terrain and the road all assets that are put onto it namely for example the lines the bridge is also procedurally generated as you can imagine there is a lot of materials in this object only and i don't want to have to deal with all of that manually so what can i do we will start by simply applying a bridge so let's turn that into visual geometry to mesh so now now we have an actual mesh okay uh, i just want to let you know that all of my objects in the scene are using the roadscape uv attribute i've regrouped every mesh into a single attribute so that it is even quicker to do let's turn the guardrail into real geometry as well let's turn the road lines for example into real geometry and let's turn the road object into visual geometry okay so now that everything is done we still have our procedurally generated uvs going on and so the process will be to be inside the data of the objects we would have to go into attributes we would have to go and find the roadscape uv attribute it is there as you can see it is a face corner vector you would have to go to vector 2d convert it and then you would have your uv map showing up in there and then you would have to do this for your objects and for all materials and so the way you can do it very quickly you can simply type the attribute you want to convert in the first attribute conversion text field and then if you click on convert all uvs the add-on will process through all the objects in the scene which contains this attribute and will convert this attribute into proper vector to the face corner attribute which will then be converted into uv map and it will as well replace the default uv map if there was one used by default if you select convert selected uvs it will do exactly the same but only for uh, selected meshes okay so let's just try to use it so i have my roadscape object which is the one i have turned into real geometry and i simply want to make the uv reels so i'm typing the attribute and i'm just going to do convert all uvs as i'm doing this you can see that all the meshes haven't lost their uvs it's just that the materials have not been processed as well so far now if i go into roadscape again we can see that we have properly converted the uv into proper uv map and the next thing we need to do we need to change the materials which are linked to the procedural unwrapping we simply have to use the same attribute in this instance so it will use roadscape uv you don't have to type one in there there is a text field in here in order for you to choose another attribute and to process the materials with another attribute than the one used in order to convert the uvs but if you want the same attribute which is our case actually we can simply apply texture coordinates to all our materials and as you can see it is now processing all the materials in the scene and turning them into using texture coordinates instead of the attribute node and we can see that it has processed 78 materials and converted 78 uvs don't pay attention to the terrain of the meshes 
the only one that is not procedurally generated in this instance. But if you can see, we have now our mesh, which are turned from a visual mesh to geometry, so actual geometry. If we go into attribute on the guardrail, we now have a correct UV map that is set by default, which was the previous procedural attribute. And if we go into shading and we go into materials used in the guardrail mesh, we can see that we are now using the texture coordinate UV instead of the broadscape UV. What is good about the add-on as well is that you can just in one click, you can go back to procedurally generated materials by using simply apply attribute node. You can go back and forth between texture attribute and attribute. This is very useful in the case of you wanted to export your mesh, but then you realize that you need to go back to your procedural mesh generation and then you want to unwrap it again. So you can convert the UVs as well and then change the materials as your needs fits. There is a selected only. This is basically the same as here, but this is only for the material management. If you use selected only, it will only change the texture coordinate and the attribute node to the materials which the selected objects are users of. And if you uncheck selected only, it will process every materials in the scene. This is a very simple add-on, but it is very useful if you're using Blender to generate environments for your games and you want to have real UVs for your game engines, or even if you are using procedurally generated mesh and unwrap meshes that you want to later texture paint or something like that, you would want to turn them into real UVs. So this is all about this tool. Go grab it, guys. It's just uh, $3. I think that's a fair price for what it does. In my case, it's very useful. So yeah, this is all about the tool. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.